Hello everyone, welcome to Genesis Flight College. My name is Max and I'm here to talk to you about our AllSim 250. This is uh, one of our training uh, devices that we use here at Genesis to increase the proficiency for students within their flight training. We use it to teach both new skills to students, so they're, whenever they get into the airplane, they already are familiar with the concept. But let's say they have something they're struggling with in the airplane, we can actually jump into Sim to actually uh, work on that skill to help them increase their proficiency at a lower price point at which the All Sim runs at. Uh, we can also simulate uh, more hazardous scenarios like flying in really strong winds or cr crosswinds of some sorts. So we can uh, produce scenarios that are more difficult for them to fly in, but in a safe environment being in the simulator. Best part about it is our AllSim is certified by Transport Canada, so it is something that uh, you can uh, log and use towards your training. Before starting the AllSim 250, familiarize yourself with the startup procedures listed on the startup checklist. Ensure the emergency stop buttons are disengaged. Push the start buttons on the instructor panel. Once the system page displays on the screen, confirm everything is green and click OK. After the instruments have displayed, you can turn on control loading. Control loading provides the pilot with realistic flight control forces as if you were flying the actual aircraft. Once control loading is on, you can turn on the projectors. On the instructor station screens, you can click Tools, Projector, and Start Projectors. Once projectors are on, you can select an aircraft by clicking Aircraft, then the type of aircraft you'd like. You have the option to select Single Engine Piston, Single Engine Piston Complex, and Multi Engine Piston Complex. EFIS equipped aircrafts are similar to the G1000. From there, if you'd like to change the location, you can select Presets and select a preset location, or you can click Position and search for any runway, nav aid, or fix worldwide and set that location. To set the weather, you can use Weather Presets under Presets Weather or you can set your own weather under the weather tab. On the sim controls, you'll find the volume control, fan speed for cooling, and headset jacks for the instructor station. To adjust the seats, you can use the big lever to move the seats forward and back, and the small bar for small adjustments. Under the pilot dashboard, you'll find the student headset jacks. The checklist and emergency checklist for each aircraft type can be found in the side compartment on the pilot or co-pilot side. When flying the AllSim 250, make sure to follow the appropriate checklists for startup. Note the performance speeds are listed within the checklist. To set Direct 2, you click the Direct 2 button on the Garmin 650 Type in the airport or nav aid and click activate. To switch from COM to nav frequencies, click the COM knob in. To switch frequencies, click the green frequency. To set the transponder code, use the touchscreen and dial in the code. To set OBS, Hold down the home button on the Garmin 650, click OBS and dial in the course of your choice. To switch CDI, on the right side of the PFD, select CDI source and use the knob at the bottom to cycle through GPS, NAV1 and NAV2. 